Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and in this video I'm gonna take a look at the Sigma 24 to 70 mm f2.8 full frame lens. This is a standard fast zoom lens for full frame cameras and it's available for the L mount and the Sony FE mount. And since I'm a Lumix ambassador, of course I used the Lumix S1R for my review. And by the way, I also have the 14 to 24 millimeter f2.8 here and I'm gonna review this right after I'm done with the 2470. So stay on the channel. Uh, but of course not in this video, but uh, in, ve in the very near future this is coming up uh, in another video, this lens. I don't own these lenses, both of these lenses are on loan from the Finnish importer Foca. They were really kind to loan me these lenses and um, of course I'm not getting paid for making this review. I'm just making this and other my reviews just to share my experiences with you guys. And after I'm done with this review, both of these reviews, I will return these lenses back to where they came from. This kind of uh, 24 to 70 millimeter f2.8 has become like the standard zoom lens for a professional photographer. And it's easy to understand if you pair this lens with a 70 to 200 f2.8 and you have two camera bodies and then you have a 14 to 24 in your camera back for those occasional super wide angle needs, you'd be covered for pretty much any regular photo uh, assignment or photo situation with just three with just three lenses and two camera bodies. All right, let's start by looking at the uh, build quality of this lens. I think Sigma in general has done a really good job in the recent years with their lenses and um, I sort of expected this lens to be of uh, really like high premium quality, but when I opened the box and pulled the lens out, I was really really pleasantly surprised. This lens feels really well put together and everything feels nice and tight. The materials are metal and some sort of composite. The inner barrel extends when zooming towards uh, 70 millimeters, but even at full extension, there is no unnecessary like free play anywhere. So this lens leaves very, very premium impression. The zoom ring is smooth, a little bit heavy, but very, very smooth. And uh, the manual focus ring feels also smooth, It's uh, but it's um, a little bit too light uh, or free wheeling. <laughs> To my taste, I'd like it to have a little bit more resistance, but I don't think you're going to be using manual focus much with this lens because the autofocus is really, really good. And there are a couple of uh, switches on the side of the lens, a switch for uh, the manual focus autofocus, and then there's another kind of switch for the the zoom lock. And the zoom lock is kind of nice because as soon as you turn the, the zoom ring, the, the lock will automatically open. So you don't have to um, open the lock first and then start zooming. And then there is the AFL button on the side of the lens, which supposedly is reprogrammable, but I couldn't figure out how I could uh, assign another function on the button. Uh, with this uh, Lumix S1R. The default function is autofocus stop, which is it's good for me. I don't often use the lens buttons anyway on any lens and uh, I think the autofocus stop function is quite logical function for a, a lens button. And then of course there is um, the lens hood which is included and which feels also really really high quality and it looks good too. The only minor thing is that the, this kind of velvety rubber ring around the lens hood seems to turn like a little bit 
gray very soon it co somehow collects uh, dust very very easily but it's not a big deal it's just minor cosmetic thing of course before i go any further let me show you a few pictures that i shot on this lens Before I forget, please sign up for my monthly newsletter. There's a link in the description, but you can also go straight to my website, sulanto.fi. Thanks. This lens weighs in at about 880 grams, and the filter thread is 82 millimeters. So it's not exactly a small lens, but for what it is, I think the size is kind of okay. It's definitely not too big. And uh, when it's on the S1R camera body, it feels like a well-balanced combination. And uh, it's a pleasure to use and, uh, and handle. And uh, you could easily use this even one, um, with one hand if necessary, if you have to shoot from a high angle or something. And one more thing about the handling. The zoom ring uh, direction is unfortunately not the same as on Lumix lenses. And it took me a couple of days before I could reprogram my muscle memory. Because uh, I would go to telephoto when I was trying to go to wide and uh, to wide when I was trying to go to telephoto. But once you get used to it, then it's of course no issue anymore. The optical construction is 19 elements in 15 groups and there are, hold on, there are 6 FLD and 2 SLD elements. Both are some sort of low dispersion glass elements. So 8 of those all together and then there's, there are 3 aspherical elements on top of that. All that to make sure the optical quality uh, stays uh, premium throughout the whole range and to suppress all, you know, chromatic, chromatic aberrations and um, all those nasties. And of course, Sigma uses their own special lens coatings too. Then the aperture mechanism has 11 rounded blades to help uh, to create some nice uh, bokeh, of course. The minimum focusing distance is 18 cm at 24 mm and 38 cm at 70 mm. So this is not um, of course any macro lens but still it focuses nice and close for some occasional close-ups. There is no optical image stabilizer built into the lens but um, at least with the Lumix camera bodies, that's not any problem. The in-body stabilizer on the S1R is very, very uh, effective and I could easily get uh, one second, one and a half second exposures, handheld, uh, tack sharp exposures, I mean. And when I'm evaluating the sharpness on any lens, I don't measure anything. I just take pictures and then I eyeball those pictures in Lightroom and uh, if everything looks good then the lens is sharp of course. And Sigma has done a good job with their lenses lately. So I had uh, very high expectations with this lens and I have to say I'm not disappointed. This lens is very very sharp at all focal lengths. The best performance comes at the wide end but even at 70 millimeters, the quality is very, very high indeed. Even wide open at 24 millimeters, this lens is really, really sharp right uh, across the frame. Even the corners are really, really sharp. At 70 millimeters, there's a slight bump uh, in the sharpness when you stop down to f4. So uh, what comes to the sharpness, I would say this lens is really, really good and it really delivers. The quality of the bokeh is a matter of taste, but in my opinion, this Sigma creates quite nice bokeh for a zoom lens. It's not up to the best primes, but still pretty decent. There is some visible vignetting which goes away when you stop to about f5.6. I personally don't care about vignetting. 
I think in most cases it only adds to the picture, makes it look better and in many cases I add vignetting in post in my pictures. This lens is compatible with the in-camera distortion correction and also Lightroom applies the same corrections automatically to uh, Panasonic uh, RAW files. So I can't see any distortions and I don't know if there are any uh, distortions if they are not uh, uh, corrected in camera or in Lightroom. But I don't really care. The end result uh, is what counts uh, to me. So if the picture looks good, then it is good. The autofocus was also a really pleasant uh, surprise. My previous Sigma review was the 35mm 1.2 and on that lens the autofocus was not very convincing. Uh, so I was kind of uh, not expecting anything with this lens, but it turns out this lens focuses really really fast and accurately and even the face detection focus is good and reliable. The manual focus is, you know, very good uh, focus by wire system, but the focus ring as I said at the beginning is uh, a little bit too loose uh, to my taste. I wish it would have a little bit more resistance to it. But uh, I don't think you're going to be using much manual focus with this lens. The autofocus works so well. Let's take a look at some more photos I shot on this lens. The price of this lens seems to be around 11, 1200 euros or US dollars, depending on your location. And the build quality is definitely first class, and this is weather sealed. It has fast f2.8 maximum aperture, and the optical qualities are really nice, and this lens is very, very sharp. So I think this is a great option for uh, L-mount and Sony FE-mount users. And I kind of feel sorry for Nikon and Canon mirrorless users, because at least for now they don't have this option. Anyway, that's my review of the Sigma 24 to 70 f2.8. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.